Hello, this is going to be a pick a card this morning. Okay, go ahead and pick your pile right now. I'm going to start separating them. If you would like a personal reading, the description box has all the information you need down below. Also, thank you guys for your likes, comments, and all the subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Sending light and love to you. All right, so pile number one. What do we have in store? Let's see. What does pile number one's person want to tell them right now? Pile number one. What does their person want to tell them right now? There's an offer. They're thinking about an offer. It's energy. Wow. I don't read reversals, sorry. <laughs> But I do know how they came out. Wow. I really like this reading so far. Okay. So for pile number one, your person is really getting a hold of their emotions and they're trying to um, they're really getting a hold of their emotions right now and they are thinking about an offer or they do want to make an offer, okay? Um, but they just, they just don't know how to take charge. They don't know how to take charge. But I do see here that they do hold balance with their heart and their, their mind. I see here that they are their finances are, are doing good, okay? Um, their actions are kind of, they're wishy-washy right now, so that's why they're in the thought process, but their emotions are actually, they're, they're not afraid of, starting to accept their emotions, okay? If you were probably dealing with someone who just, was not really open about how their feelings are. Now they're starting to be like, wow, okay, I should have I should have expressed myself. Yeah. Right now, they're at a cross between um, what they're waiting for. Okay. Uh, you could know more than I could. Um, and also there is a, uh, an offer that that there is here, but it's it's a very slow offer. It's, it's going to take some time for this offer to arrive to you. Yeah, and it's he or she is paying attention to detail. I see there's a lot of masculine energy here. Um, take whatever resonates. Okay. I do see here that they're thinking about an offer because they're bringing back their emotions, but they're holding on to what they think serves them a purpose. Yeah, they're birthing something new or something is being new. They're kind of wishy-washy about this, but they were holding their ground for this offer for them to make.
Yeah, they were getting kind of caught up, but again, here with the King of Cups, you know, it's they're having there's something they want to start new. They're having these memories, okay? They they're these have it's someone from your past. Obviously, it's your person. You guys are probably not speaking or on speaking terms right now. Yeah, they um they want to focus on what remains because they have been focusing on what they lost. They're thinking about their memories, okay? They were they were in the past, they were kind of really sharp with their tongue with you. Okay. But they want a new venture. Okay. They want a new they want or they're thinking about they're thinking about this kind of of you guys, lovers, or you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be Gemini. Okay, there's a lot of water sign here, so you could be um, water, Cancer, Spice, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're having rest. Okay, they want this new emotion, but they're being thoughtful about it. They're resting and they're going into hermit mode right now. Okay, they want to bring this this generous source. They're thinking about what to tell you or how to even begin. <laughs> Oof, that's a lot. There you go. They want that dream come true. The Ten of Cups. They're thinking about that dream come true. They're watching. They're watching the investments they've been actually, you know, putting in time and effort in. This could have been with you as well. Happy home. could have been a third party situation or they possibly could have put their energy forth something else but they want a victory here i see with you and and they want to share that abundance they want you know they want that family they want that home that they come to they're very grounded and they're also very nurturing okay they're they're not very stingy with their abundance or at least they weren't with you in the past but i feel like there's just um there wasn't that much communication, you know, and there's probably misunderstandings. Yeah, okay, so temptations could have gotten the best of this person. Oh, they have temptations right now. Okay, but they're they're in good health, okay? Bottom of the deck, justice. You could be dealing with the Libra, okay? They probably had a, they, they have choices to make, okay, or they're going with their instincts. This is what is going on with your person right now. This is what they want to tell you, okay? Let's get some Oracles. What do they have to say to pile number one? Thank you, Spirit. What does their person have to say? So they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, okay? Honesty. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, okay? Get to know each other. So it could be different, okay? There you go, that finances and career. They could have put this first. That could have been the third party energy. Take whatever resonates. Okay, this is true love, okay? This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, they're starting to, you know, they're starting to notice, okay? Worth waiting for. So this is your person, okay? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? And it's here under the lover's card. Financial issues are a, f are a factor in your love life right now. So right now they're trying to get their coin right. This is, they could have had a business or like an entrepreneurship they've been trying to do. So true love, this is a romance of a lifetime. All right, pile number one. Let's see the messages that they have for you what messages do we have from pal number one's person pal number one's person what messages do we have thank you Ooh. all right so 
Here we go. I feel safer in silence. My mind and heart always come back to you. Maybe we're just too different. Yeah, so this person's kind of wishy-washy. Stop questioning our connection. <laughs> Ooh, pal number one. You never leave my thoughts. Karma is kicking my ass. I think you are so sexy. Aww. We are ignoring one another. Yeah, so you guys could be doing this on purpose. I feel like a ticking time bomb. Yeah, so they honestly had a lot of stuff like to hold in. Seeing you reminds me of thinking I know of things I know deep down inside and that's not always easy to deal with. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Would you reject me? Oh my god. I want to see you. Your intensity frightens me and allures me at the same time. I wonder if you are happy without me. Wow. So this person, your person has a lot of stuff to tell you, but they just don't know how. They do want to tell you a lot of things. They do think about you and, and they know what happened in the past. Um, it, it was, you know, it could have been, um, it could have been a lot of reasons why there was, there was separation, but only you know. But these are your messages from your person, pal number one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. Um, moving on to pal two. Okay, pile number two, hi. Let's get some messages on the table, Let's see what's going on with your person. What does your person want to let you know? What does pile two's person want to let them know? I take flyaways, I just don't take reversals, so I'll take that one. That one flew out, so. They're very, I feel like they want to say a lot. They're confused right now. That's slow offer. Okay, bottom of the deck, the emperor. Okay, so your person's thinking off of logic and experience right now. Okay, that's the energy. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Do you guys see that? I, I didn't see it. Okay. So, your person wants to let you know. They're trying to get their shed straight. Even though it might not seem like it, but they're trying to get their shit straight, okay? Um, 
yeah, they're trying to get their shit straight and they are kind of taking some downtime, okay? And I see here in the past, it was better to walk away from whatever happened, okay? It could have been in the near the recent past, I see. And they do, they are thinking about a romantic uh, partnership or arrangement, okay? It could be you. They're thinking about bringing in an offer. There is an offer that is in their mind, okay? Here I see that they do have balance between their heart and their mind, okay? Here, it's this abundance they want to share with you, all right? They're also very, you know, calm and collected, okay? They're trying to get into that that phase and I see here that there there is kind of like they did have or they do have like a real a realist approach to them here you see <laughs> there's like a realist approach to them and um what what is going on is they're going through a new cycle okay either they could be stagnant right now or they could be moving forward they're leaving something behind all right and they saw they have some clarity you could be dealing with um a capricorn you could be dealing with scorpio you could be dealing with uh with the gemini as well um Yeah, let's get some clarifying cards on here. They could have been battling something, okay? They could have stood their ground, okay? This could have been in the past as well. But right now, they're in good health, okay? They're pretty secure where they're at, all right? um they are waiting for their ships to come in okay again here they're 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 moving towards something better with grace okay um or this could be you you know better than i do i'm just a messenger here all right so here it was that they did have a balancing act okay but they 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 did come into their intuition okay good news okay good news there's new new venture coming out all right they want victory with you all right they could have honestly been creative like how they're gonna do this they're they're trying to be they're trying to think of creative ways on how to like bring this victory to you with you pile number two This is someone from your past or thinking about the memories, okay? This is definitely someone from your past. This is your person, okay? They have that, that creative energy, that masculine energy. Take whatever resonates. There's no gender in tarot. Ooh, sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, I see that this person's like very, there's very heavy masculine energy like this is that's the energy for the reading in general um they probably weren't receptive in the past yeah here here it's kind of um they're seeing the big picture okay they're starting to see the big picture yeah they knew there was heartbreak here Ooh. they knew there they knew there was heartbreak here but they're learning they're learning, uh, um, um, they're coming to a realization of what, what it was, or they want to come to a realization of what it was that, you know, was kind of brought you guys to this or them. They're resting on it, okay? It, it was probably, uh, they're thinking about it, you know? All right, so they're manifesting something new. They want to manifest something new with you. There you go. They want joy and success. Oof, there you go. They're, they have a tower moment coming up. 
They're going through some shit. There's Hangman with the wheel here. Oh, you know what? I saw the wheel, it was reversed. I didn't even know that. I thought it was upright, you guys. So yeah, they're going through some stuff right now, okay? The choices could have been made, okay? Instincts could have been taken, but they are seeing what happened, okay? Mm. And honestly, they could be, you know, showing that they're good, but they're not. Right now, they're not. Their finances are kicking them in the butt. And they need that strength, okay? They need all the strength they can get right now. This could be their tower. This could be the karma that came to them, you know? They could have just... This is in the center of the deck. I don't know if you guys see that. Ooh. Yeah, this getting to know your relation. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Love yourself first. Yeah, pile number two, you want to go ahead and not, you know, wait for this person. Karma's kicking him in the butt right now. You don't, you don't want to see that. That's not your burden to take. Okay, as, as much as you want to help him out, that's not your burden to take. Let's see. Yeah, you want to free yourself, okay? You want to free yourself from this past. Keep an open mind. And honeymoon, you guys could be going somewhere after this, okay? Um, it might... Not everything might resonate with you, but they, you're thinking about going away with this person, okay? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, all right? Pound number one. It's time to take back control of your life. Ooh. It's time to take back control of your life. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So your person is not the same anymore or who you were thinking about. Honestly, you could be moving on as well. You could have a new love interest. Take whatever resonates. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you could be putting in some time and effort into yourself, okay? Give your rom your romantic ro relationship a chance. So this person, I, hear, I think it's from them, this person wants to really give your you guys a chance or they want a chance from you but right now don't don't even like focus on yourself pile number two okay love yourself first free yourself all right let's get some messages from your person what messages do we have from their person from pile number two please pile number two I feel, I feel like this person's so stubborn. I feel like your person is so stubborn. The messages, oh my God. That though, all those just, you know what? Now, because they're so stubborn, I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up. And I'm gonna let you know exactly what they're thinking and what they wanna tell you. Because they wanna play with that. start off with this pile okay <laughs> what did I tell you <laughs> karma's kicking my ass right now there you go with that tower maybe we're just too different I hid who I really am from you Connect with me in the 5D. Okay, so you could have been thinking about this person, daydreaming possibly. You're my future wifey. <laughs> okay, these are the ones that fell on the floor. This is probably not what they wanted you to know. Okay, here we go. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Yeah, yeah, I feel that one. You've been in my dreams. There you go. Connect with them in the 5D. I'm trying not to lose faith. Wow. I wish you were mine. 
I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You don't deserve that. Of course not. Nobody fucking deserves that. It's hard for me too. I see other people in you. That's kind of weird. I can't change what happened. I know your heart is hurting, so is mine. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Yeah, divine's really, yeah, karma's really kicking their ass right now. I can't wait to love you. All right, pal number two, these have been uh, your messages or what your person wants to tell you right now. Yeah, work on yourself, dude. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonated with you. Bye. Okay, pal number three, this is going to be your messages from your person, what they want you to know, what are they up to right now, okay. This is your messages from your person, what they want you to know. do we have? What does pal number three's person want to tell them? Oh. Someone from your past. What does pal number three's person want to tell them? That's a lot. Oh, they're having a tower. You know what? I'm going to take it. Their actions were probably not the best actions. <laughs> in the past. Wow, a lot of major arcana here, you guys. Holy crap. I think you got the most cards. Oof, look at that. All right. Wow. <laughs> so this person is manifesting or you're manifesting something. There is judgment. There is a decision that was made. I'm going to put these up here. Right here. Look at that tower. Oof, they're going through a tower moment, okay? This person could have just been thinking off logic and experience. They could have never really expressed their emotions. I see, I feel like a lot of masculine energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay, a Capricorn. Um, you could also be dealing with somebody who is spiritual just like you are, okay? Or you, or this could be you, this this magician energy. <laughs> I see you're a person here in the past where <laughs> this is someone from your past, definitely. There was an offer that was made over here. Hold on, I'm gonna move these to the side. There was an offer here that was made, okay? But 
it just wasn't stable enough okay now this person's going through <laughs> some really weird actions that <laughs> they don't really show um they could be playing it off where they're just fine and dandy but deep down inside they're actually kind of like going through some heavy shit <laughs> Yeah, divine, divine laid, laid it down on them, okay? Or karma laid it down on them. Yeah, they're going through a lot of pressure and conflict right now, okay? There's a lot of um, dark side of them, the, like the moon. There's a lot of solitude that they have. There's a lot of like disillusions that they had, okay? They're going, they're, they're seeing this, okay? Or they are, they are about to go through this. You know more than I do. You know, I'm just a messenger. I just read the tarot. Uh, this person was a realist. I don't really see like that they have any emotion now because they are being broken down, okay? And here with the death card, I do see that that they that they are um wow look at my hands are so dark. <laughs> I got a 10 you guys. Uh I do see here that they they are leaving something behind, okay? But they they do have an opportunity to show their talents. It could be, you know, um for a better abundance for now. Uh but as far as um what they're going through yeah it's not really good it's not really good but it's it's not bad either you know that's a lot spirit You know what's funny? I was recording yesterday. I recorded some videos and the one <laughs> the one video I kind of like spent more time on was not uploaded. So that was an MTV. So I learned my lesson. All right. So, ooh, right off the bat, lover's card. Okay. Um yeah, in the past, they could, there could have been a lot of investments that they made with you. They're thinking about that. They know that the, there's also about, you know, you guys were lovers, obviously. You know, if you're trying to confirm that maybe what your relationship you guys had, it wasn't real. Yes, it was. To them, it was. And for you, it was too. And they fought really hard for this, or you did. Call number three. Yeah, I think right now they thought about their abundance. They didn't have the strength or they're trying to have the strength. You could be dealing with Leo. You could be Leo. There's that grace that they want to have. Okay, they, they want to go through with grace. Okay. They want to go through the next step of their life with grace. They're probably challenging it. What was going on? They're probably really creative too. Like how you guys like broke up. Or how they how they were how they there's probably like a lot of unfinished um, <laughs> there was a lot of unfinished stuff that you guys like did yeah oh my god okay so here either you or this person there was a lot of lies and mistrust they see that you see that now sorry you guys. But there's that fresh start with abundance. They want, they want to come from like a sincere source, okay, for their abundance. They're healing, okay. Yeah, again with that four cups, their emotions. They're in the past. They're kind of wishy-washy. They're holding on to materialistic things, okay. They're very uh, greedy. Yeah. The manifesting trying to get out of this balancing act right now. Wow, everybody's person's going through some shit. 
They're learning something new, okay? How to give them abundance. They came into clarity. Abundance, it could be with material aspects. They could be creativity. Yeah, they're coming into clarity. They're birthing. Something is birthing. Birthing something new, okay? Oof. Again, with those pre that pre pressure and conflict, okay? They could have been in their head a lot a lot or they are in their head okay but this is the i think that there was a burden they have a lot of burdens and responsibilities right now you guys could have kids i'm hearing there you go there's that heart it could have been a possible third party third party i'm seeing uh, there's an offer that they're they want they're thinking about they want this happy family with you Okay, they want to share their abundance with you as well. They could have been coming in, up into some money. I want to share that with you. So for the third party, it doesn't always have to be a person. It could be an energy that they're investing in. It's too many. This person does not want to see, like, what are their talents? Like, oh, here it is. Wow, I see. Okay, so all 10 decks, all 10, 10 decks, all 10s are out here on the table. So they've been going through a major transformation. This could have been this tower that they've been having. They didn't, they're not telling you all this shit that they're going through, or you could have been through going through this, okay? There's an offer that they're trying to make, that they're thinking about making as well, okay? This person could have a lot, gone through a lot of drama. They could have a lot of responsibilities, okay? But they also do want to have, like, a happy home. They want to do share abundance. This is your person. This is what's going on with them. This is what they want to tell you, okay? They're really stubborn at the end. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they're manifesting. Right now they're manifesting. What are they manifesting, spirit? They're manifesting that clarity that they had, okay? They have that intuition, that inner knowing, okay? They want to know more. They want to know problem. They want to know how they can make it better. It's their karma. It's their karma to work on this. Yeah, that's it. It's their karma to work on this. To work on themselves, too. Wow. Uh, it was really nice here, and then it just started trash, 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 and oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's a romance. Oracles out here on the table for pound number three. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you gotta work on yourself first. Oop. Or they gotta work on themselves. Do you have any more messages? Can we do it one more time? Okay. Well, cool. I know I saw one. I know I saw one through here. There it is. Wow, you guys got a lot too. Whew, okay. So you want to free yourself, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, you want to be optimistic about that. Give your relationship a chance. You could want to give this a chance, okay? Work on your partnership. Like I said, you guys uh, could have been married. You guys are probably in separation. You and your person have this willpower, okay? Or you guys will have the willpower to, to work on your relationship, okay? Trust. This situation is calling you to have faith. Obviously, with the lies and mistrust and all the balancing act here, it could have been where you guys did not have a lot of trust. Let go of control issues because... 
because of this. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Flirt. I'll put it right here. Yeah, right here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and love yourself first. This is what pile number two got as well. So you want to love yourself first, okay? Or they have to love themselves first, you know? You want to work on yourselves, you guys. Hold on, I need water. I've been talking a lot. <laughs> All right. What messages do we have for pile number three from their person? What do they want to say? Okay, so I'm going to leave that there because it stayed there. <laughs> What messages does pile number three's person want to tell them? Oof. One more. Alright. At least yours didn't fly out. Pile number two's was stubborn. Okay, so this one, they really wanted to let you know. I am struggling to let go of the 3 3D world. So, yeah, they they were honestly really just Okay, so let's see. I can hear and feel you strongly. Holy crap, you guys are really connected. <laughs> you guys are really connected. I feel your love around me constantly. I can't change what happened. Girl, boy. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Of course not. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. Wow. I know your heart is hurting, so is mine. You're my future wifey. <laughs> You've been in my dreams. So you guys are really connecting. Um, you guys are really close. Don't pressure me. Pile number three. We will be together again. Yeah. I can't wait to love you. I feel safer in silence. So this person obviously did not want to tell you what they were really feeling. I think they were kind of, I don't think, but I see here they're most likely they were scared. I think you are so sexy. Aww. I want to see you. Would you reject me? So I mean, like all the other piles, they have a lot to go through, but it doesn't mean that they stop thinking about you, okay? You know, and it's it's good to work on yourself, you know? You don't want to put some... That, that energy that you have, I see your, you know, it could be invested elsewhere. It could be invested in yourself. All right, pal number three, this has been your uh, reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if it resonates. Bye.